Hey guys, welcome back. This is the Mighty TNW channel. And you know guys, you know something, we gotta congratulate T. You know why T is so important? Because T makes all that happens for you. So you will love to watch this channel. She is a great help to the channel, very great help. Wasn't for her, we wouldn't even have a channel. But hey, I tell you what though, I'm the W and I'm bringing you this content right now. And uh, what we're gonna do today is a 2008 it's a PT Cruiser, a Chrysler product. And what's so great about today is, this right here is the water pump. This is what we're putting on today. We're gonna install some spark plugs. And these are the component kits behind the timing belt. And this is the new timing belt. And the product we're using today is a Gates brand. You can get these online. Um, this is the part number that you can find. You can buy them online or you can buy them in a part store. Choose B depending on what the price um, carries you. You know how you're feeling that day. Um, spot plugs we're using are Champions. Part number on this product. There's a part number right there. There's four of them that come in a pack. All right, I'll tell you what we had to do for this venture right here you got to remove your air box you got to be removed your cruise control has to be removed the upper timing belt cover has to be removed and when you're in there line up your timing marks use them white out to mark it where you won't lose your settings underneath there's a lot of stuff you got to rip out like the lower timing cover got to come out with some eight millimeter screws you gotta take loose of course your belts all your drive belts there's two drive belts on the car there is an alternator belt that's in the back and the front there's an ac belt that's your ac belt right there this right here is the is a is a bracket they use to hold your power steering and and your uh the the uh, mid side mount and the upper dog bone mount that what carries on this um guy right here then you have a lower strut mount torque mount that's at the bottom of the car where it fits up in this area right here between the block and the frame um, that has to be removed. I advise you get like a two and a half or three ton stand and put a block of wood to support the motor because you're going to have to elevate the motor up to get to this belt because this, this vehicle you have to jack it up so high. It's got to jack it up so high so you can get these covers out. And then where the cruise control is another bracket you got to take loose. This job, to be honest with you, you might well plan about four to five hours to do. That's what you're taking your time. If you're in a rush, I wouldn't see no more than four hours minimal. If you take it to some of these um, bigger shops, dealerships, stuff like that, the, the, the cost is going to be tremendous. I mean, we're talking about maybe close to a thousand dollars to do this job. But if you can do this yourself, you can save yourself some money under a thousand. But um, hey, guys, and plus, not least. You need to also remove. <clears throat> you gotta move the um, the front grill. Got to be removed, and that top of the frame support where the radiator support is. That got to be removed. I took a bunch of cord on mine and moved the radiator forward just a little bit so you can get in there to get to the power steering bolts. But you're gonna have to have like some, some extensions and a ratchet and like a. Um, what is that a uh, 13 millimeter ratchet to get in there but i thought i'd give you a little tutorial about what, what this job it takes for you to do if you want to conquer it yourself but hey nice little fun car to work on but hey guys appreciate the likes the subscribes and the comments and please send some comments so we can make even better videos for you until then the w is out and we will keep it rolling you know what time it is